garden. You haven't seen me in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to come out inside. It is snowing here in Michigan. Um, we get a nice winter storm this weekend. And I want to show you all of the winter interest that everyone talks about um, with not cutting your plants back in the fall. Um, I do most of my cut back in the spring, uh, right around between March. I start cutting things back in March and then um, throughout May. So the only thing I really cut back was my, um, uh, my Shasta daisies that were planted right here. And I pulled up my annuals, my petunias that were planted this front flower bed. So over here, you've seen in my previous videos, is my tall pinky winky. And you can see that winter interest with the snow covering um, the hydrangeas that are still on there. And then you can see the wind blowing them around, which is really nice too. So we'll just walk this way and we'll do a little winter um, garden tour. <laughs> My original summer, or uh, oh my gosh, um, summer crush uh, hydrangeas. Those are in over there are the originals. But I have the um, summer crush right here. So just keep walking right through here. These are my little lime hydrangeas from Perimeter. And um, right here are my incredibles. And don't they, look, I, I don't cut them back. But look at how pretty that is with all the snow on there. I'll cut it back in the spring and um, clean all this up and just cut everything back to about a third in the springtime. So we'll just walk around here and go on a little wintry tour uh, through the Heather's Michigan Garden. And <laughs> And we're waiting for spring to come back. So we'll just keep walking through here. Um, these are uh, Annabelle's right through here. And uh, some Invincible Spirit, uh, the pink ones that are from uh, Proven Winners. to you, but it's certainly beautiful to me. I've been looking forward to all this snow. <clears throat> we'll walk around over here to the swimming pool area. This is where I have my uh, rows of Sharon, the blue ones, and then my um, firelight tidbits are work around here. And we have these cute little statues, so don't they look really cute with the snow covering on them? It's really cute. And she's reading a gardening book here, dreaming of spring also. <laughs> oh, so cute. So I'll walk around this way. Jose, let's check this out. We've gotten enough precipitation that we unhooked our pool, but it's filled up some from the... From oh, raining. no. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually okay. It's draining out. That's fine. But yeah. It doesn't look frozen. It's just kind of slushy. So we'll just keep going around here. blanket of snow. Isn't it beautiful? More hydrangeas planted over here. Oh, look at how pretty my grasses look. Cute 
statue boy right here. What's he doing here? Oh yeah, he's got a gardening book also. He's uh, dreaming of spring too. Praying for spring to get here pretty soon. Over here are my hibiscus. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? They get so pretty in pink, but like, seriously, look at this winter interest with the snow on here. Really pretty. Come March, I'll cut these back uh, about three to six inches to the ground, and it will grow all the way fresh new in the summer. And by um, August, late July, early August, I should have some beautiful, glorious flowers on these hibiscus. They're the summerific variety from Proven Winter and that surrounds my entire fire pit area. More hibiscus here. And these are my uh, cone flowers that I left and the birds will eat their seeds so I don't cut those back until the spring give the birds something to munch on during the winter month so we'll just kind of walk this way I'm hoping uh, this coming year that this little area in here it's going to become my winter, or my, I'm sorry, it's going to become my secret wedding garden. Um, so you'll walk through here and these hydrangeas, these are the, um, oh my gosh, my mind keeps going blank since spring. Um, the quick fire fab hydrangeas. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Even if you shake the the snow off of them. Look at the pretty color on that. Come up close, Jose. It's actually really pretty. Look at how pretty that is. And you can make them fall onto the ground like little petals. All pretty. Anyway, we'll walk in here. These are all supposed to get about six to eight feet tall and wide. So in the summertime, this should Next year, we should get on a, a couple more feet of growth, and it should probably be taller than me, I'm guessing, this year. There, a lot of them are pretty close. Um, let's walk over this way. Let's see how tall this is. Yeah, this is a quick fire fab, so you can see how tall this is right now and they've been growing a, probably about two to three feet a year so I'm guessing by uh, the end of next summer these will probably be as tall as me. It'll be absolutely gorgeous in here. Let's go check out the gazebo. So this is what I see when I look out my back window from my house. I can see all of this area. It's so beautiful out here and peaceful. The bird bath filled with snow in it is just so beautiful. And when that snow melts, the birds can come and drink out of that, that bird bath. We have the climbing hydrangeas here. And it just looks so pretty. You can see the buds on it. So this, if you want to come up close, Jose. Look at that. That soon-to-be growth right here. There's a lot on here. So that's, uh, this is, should look like it's going to grow quite a bit this uh, next summer and spring. So that's exciting. And... So 
Some of you might think that the, all this weight from the snow and ice will hurt these, but it doesn't. I don't usually cut these back. I just deadhead them in the spring. Um, they look like they're not very strong, but they, you know, because they have all this snow and ice on them, they pop right back up in the spring time. So just walk around. Is it snowing where you are at? So beautiful. I I love spring and summer, but I can't lie. The beauty of uh, the blanket of snow is gorgeous. So don't walk forward. Right here is I planted this oak leaf hydrangea um, last fall, and. Uh, Wanted to make sure Jose didn't step on it. I actually it forgot to, all about that one. <laughs> it, it was it was hard to see with the, the snow covering it, but it looks like it's gonna be okay. Well, we hope. We'll see in the spring. planted these uh, this fall too. This is the um, Castle Spire Blue Holly and you can still see the berries on them right there. It's doing good too. I put this netting around it to protect it from the, the deer um, and it doesn't look like they've had any deer pressure on them at all. They're walk around this way. I'll take the camera because Jose's hands are kind of getting cold so I'm gonna just be in the background and walk around. That's the lilac tree and uh, some more hydrangeas. Got the butterfly bush right there. Look at how pretty it's just so pretty out here when it's snowing and peaceful. Is everyone else planning for their spring planting like we are? It seems like it lasts forever, but it gets here before you know it. It's another statue of a mom holding her son. It's so pretty in the snow. So I'll come up here. Here's another statue. See that? And then we'll just walk around this way. You want to let Dreamy outside? Here's some more cone flowers here that we left for the birds. So beautiful out here today with all the snow. And we'll just walk over here and look at the front garden. Lots and lots of winter interest with the snow-capped hydrangeas out here. Don't you just love the sound of your feet crunching in the snow? I have to show you this uh, grass over here. It's so pretty. Just like a winter wonderland out here. Isn't that pretty? Look at that grass. Such a beautiful day out today. So peaceful with the snow coming down.
more grass here. Very pretty. I'll hand the phone back to Jose. Let's go sit over here real quick. Go for a nice little cup of tea or coffee sitting out here. I hope you guys are enjoying your winter wherever you are and please like and subscribe. You can go to Heather's <laughs> Michigan Garden. <laughs>